Someone's talking in my room. Ah, Gozi's not available. I can do shit. Also, my fiance pointed out to me that um, there's like this little uh, bread making thing in here. I don't know. Pounded something. Oh, it's like it's all paw prints. And then you just suddenly stop here. But if you look up, you like jump onto the roof and start clambering around on there. And there's just, just a lot of them. But if you follow them enough, you end up getting to here. And there's a secret dickhead here. Look at him. Look at that weirdly naked cat. It is I, Fukashigi, the informant at your service. I covered my tracks so carefully that you found me anyway. You really are a first rate hunter. I can't divulge my true identity, but I'm a connoisseur of secrets, let's say. I often get my paws on new information that's sure to pique your interest. I look forward to working with you. I will impart to you the second dirty secret of Kimura. So I think there's one per urgent quest, so you can miss them if you don't get them in time. So there's one that uh, the new players should be able to find uh, before you do the first urgent quest. Fugin the Elder is really a big Kahoot lover. He even keeps three of them. Ichiho, Brother in Arms, Nim, Teller of Tales, and Scouting Chief Sanra. Ichiho fought alongside Elder Fugin when he was still a hunter. Now he's gone into retirement with Fugin. Elder Fugan treats all his cahoots like members of his family. How so very hard one makes one a purr. By my whiskers, wasn't that juicy? I'll update you once again when you've completed an urgent quest. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, yeah. So, now to put this uh, away forever because I'm an absolute embarrassment with it. And I think I'm going to use a longsword for the next one. Fighting Legombi, Anna. Legombi's a piece of shit as well. Welcome to my shop. An excellent purchase. Was it? Or are you just trying to butter me up? Happy hunting. Oh, well. Get that small monster slain. Because the disease just like gets raft shells and slay baggy, but who gives a shit? Let's hunt this rabid rabbit. Don't forget to eat. I will not. Uh, just for completion's sake, I will show you. Because there's also a kitchen in here, and the others are just saying about like, oh, there's a shop in here as well. So don't worry about that. There's also a kitchen in here. And actually, while I'm doing it. You can, uh, although, you know, like, who, like, what, well, you know, it's kind of a little detail, but you can sit out here and eat as well. Uh, so let's get the, um, let's get the defender, the, the beat, and the polisher. Isn't that just a charming place to eat your bunny dango? Also, on the downside, technically, of uh, the new bunny dango system, the tiniest little downside in the world, is that um, it used to be in old Monster Hunters, you'd see like the meal change as you uh, improved in rank, it'd like, get bigger and, and more luxurious. Uh, with this, you just unlock new kinds of dango that you can uh, enjoy. Which have different effects. On a frosty mountain range, far from human haunts. 
An abominable beast does whatever it wants. Is it hair or is it bear? It is neither, so beware. It will drench the snow with blood and leave nothing but despair. Silver Slider. He killed that cameraman. George Cameraman, no. Get uh, free supplies. Do a jump for some reason. Uh, so I'm gonna skip like the little route because I should be fine to fight this guy otherwise. Uh, long swords are a weapon I don't really touch often, but I'm also I also feel like I'm decent with it. I don't know everything. I don't often use like the foresight slash, but I'll make do. You cheeky bastard. I f Now, the thing about bear creatures in this game is I fucking hate every single one of them. What a bunch of bastards. It's something quite like something that's all fat that just slips and slides all over the place. An industry staple. Excuse me. I thought I thought for sure that plan would work. You know, let's uh go in like that. I need to do a new one of a draw slash thing. You get my buttons mixed up. Come on, get down here. Let me tell you, I fucking hate this little slidey bastard. Just sit still, you wanker. I don't care about that attack. That attack does nothing. Slappy bastard. I got that too early. Uh, okay. Get back here. I fucking hate bears in this game. Get here, dog. I'm gonna lose my patience already. <laughs> Fucking dragons and shit, whatever. Fucking slippery bears. Nah, that's not my style. You would hope, being in here, there'd be less slippery bear action. But it's, it's just a slippery.
Hey. <clears throat> okay. Not the yellow. So the thing about longsword is each time I manage to complete one of those attacks, my, my sword changes colour. You can see like the icon has gone red. So that's my uh And then I can do stuff like that. Alright, you bastards. You ruined it. It almost feels like, oh my god, I don't remember you having the bum scoot attack. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bears. Winnie the Pooh was a mistake. Uh, okay. Ugh! I keep overshooting. Oh my god, how do you do that? Like, what... What methods of... of, of like... I, I just... I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Like... If I wanted to do such a motion in real life, what would I have to do to achieve it? Are you, are you, no. Broke my sword on the clap of his ass cheeks. After it. You little physics defying prick, sliding on pure rock uphill. Some people hate the Kezu. I hate this. This and his. his forest brethren. That's the foresight slash that I should really use more of. Just trying to figure out when he's going to even hit me. That's the biggest issue with this dickhead. Is he going to hit me or is he just going to slide into the distance for no reason? Come on. Oh my god, just sit still, you freak. I'm about to lose a charge on my bar because I just can't fucking hit you. Oh my god, if I would actually have better success if he was attacking me. And he's just like, oh, I'm just gonna go in a circle around you now. Oh my god. This 
fucking loser. I pray for the day that he actually attacks me. He's just fighting me by, by like happenstance. He's just traveling somewhere and I happen to be there. Apparently it's rideable. Probably should have shot my weapon. But I I'm not I'm not playing games this bad. This bear can go fuck right off. I'm gonna send you to get bullied by your best mate. That's another little feature about riding monsters, you can ride them to someone else. This way. Hey up, you bastard. Now while I'm down here, I'm just gonna sharpen. Hopefully that's enough time. Man, Jesus. Well, apparently he got scratched by a great Izuchi or something. No, no, just a just a great ass gener generic baggy, and that 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 was his uh his death row. But he didn't show any signs of wearing down or going for a nap or anything. He was just like, I'm going to slide on my belly to the ends of the earth. No one could stop this bear doing its belly slide. I should have been gathering bones. What an idiot. What's that? I don't remember that knife. Well, well, Conboy, let's let you rack up those notches on your hunting belt. Speaking of which, um, Laura needs your help with something. Go to him. What up? Oh, Conboy, thanks for coming. Uh, remember how they got held up at the Shrine Rooms and you helped him out? Well, Bobby's games are now available. I'm not sure why, but since then, a lot more monsters have been acting really weird. And I wants to get fidgety when the rampage nears, but it's strange that they're all in the same spot. Um, people won't run up to hmm. do it, and now the Acnosom's there. Take care of the Acnosom. Nice to you. Now, what do I want to destroy the Acnosom with? I kind of want a redemption run of this longsword, but... That might not be the coolest, uh... Little video.
I'm gonna go now with a heavy bowgun. I'm gonna shoot right at its jimmies. My hammer's ready. Ugh, why even snipe? Ugh. I'm a Wyvern Snipe racist. No problem. I refuse to use it. I don't refuse to use it, but Wyvern Heart is just so fun. I am HO. How are you doing? A power barrel. Yeah, buddy. You later. Right, let's get some ammo. There's no ammo of note. See you later. It's a good day for a hunt. I have a special quest for you. Good luck. So this guy's a bit of bit of a dancey, prancy boy as well. Um So I don't want to do my, my longsword redemption run when I'm fighting another enemy, but I can't even guarantee he's going to attack me. Yes, I'm salty about this. Oh, I hate the bears so much. Slap in the face, big disgrace. Buttery biscuit base. A bamboo forest at night. The sound of dancing is heard. Resembling a parasol, but in truth a monstrous bird. Be wary of its figure and its vibrant hue. For once its collar opens, a rain of blood will ensue. Sexy boy. Let's do this. Come on, Ace. Gotcha. And the real question is, how much am I going to be able to pull off a uh, heavy bowgun in this fight? Like, I can shoot it, sure, but I'm not going to get the uh, the cool extra bits done. Am I going to pull off counter shots? I actually don't know. I believe it's something about... You fuck off if you come in near me. Reload, charge shot, load special ammo. Oh. Remember it being something about you crouching, but maybe it's something I just don't have yet. So I'm going this way because, in case I struggle with this guy, uh, I want to get a puppet spider. Fire beetle's pretty useless to bring. Get me some uh, account points here. That was a failed jump attempt. And honestly, I might just ride the Azuros to him, like start off on it on the on the right foot. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Oh shit! Fucking launching me. So I'm gonna get my special ammo loaded. Come, dog. Yes, I agree. Uh, I might be better off just stink minking them up there. And then I'm going to get him to slap that bird in some fashion. Excuse me. Come be useful for once in your life, bear. Slap. 
So the stink mink enrages enemies. They're like, oh my god, I must catch that stinky mink. Uh, and then you just kind of run. Make sure it doesn't doesn't lose you. And you go to the other enemy and they'll naturally start fighting when they encounter each other. He's a very slow bear. You can't even follow me right there. God, I hate the bears. I don't hate these boys though. Look at these, look at these cheeky little little whippersnappers. They're all gassy, and when you when you hit them, they pop. Not like fully explode, but like they do like a blast around them. Hey, asshole! <laughs> you getting fucking bullied by Bullfango? That's amazing. He was just shushing. All right, big bird, time for you to, to go to Brown Town. Nice one. Getting kicked in the face. A little clash of the titans we got going on. Yeah, it's too much of a uh, like a wait before his attacks. I keep uh, misinterpreting it. There we are. Bullying you now. Uh, now to the mounted punisher. Really slapping him some more. And then open up my Wyvern Heart shot right in his face. I'd be mad if I was you two. Okay. <laughs> Go put your weapon away. Now. We could uh, start the fight properly. Uh, I'm trying to remember what my wirebook attacks are. This. That is our wirebook attack. Oh, fuck that hurt. Uh, okay. You get back here. And now he's poisoned. Let that be a lesson to you. Ow. FPS ammo. Damn, buddy.
Nice little uh, spread of ones there. Where are you going? Again, where are you going? I will say, feels like using a gun is oftentimes pretty weak. Again, maybe I'm just uh, bad at video games. Okay, he's tired. My ammo is nearly back up. Get ready. And go. This is where it all comes in. This is this is This is what I think about like helping myself get to sleep at night. such a, a big ordeal but even he is like Jesus Christ I'm not I'm not dealing with that again uh, maybe I could use sticky ammo do something fun with that plus you eat some uh, some some rations I didn't mean to hit you, but it just kind of happened. I was hoping it'd blow up earlier and stun you or something. Ow. I um I, I I regret my decision. I'm eating a mic seed. Okay. If I the awkward thing about um this is they don't use the same controls as Um, the melee weapons get you stunned with that. All right, so I've used a bit of some some dirty tactics here, but you know, if you want to win. Amazing. Your days are numbered. This isn't good. That's one.
Slicing ammo seems like the uh, the big dog when it comes to doing damage. There is an alternate thing which I've not used yet. Maybe I'll see if I can use it. Well, you missed, so that helps. Um, it takes both my wire bugs to use, but it, um... Alright, yeah, I'm down. It takes both my wire bugs to use, but it counters an attack. Let's see if we can uh, get it off. Oh my god, he dodged. Cheeky wanker. Hang on a second, I'm drinking potions so I don't die. Oh, but now he's off. Let me show the world this move. It's my duty as a content creator on YouTube. You can fuck off, Azeros. Nobody wants you here. Oh god, I didn't fucking see what it was going to do. Cheeky bastard. Oh my god, you fucking useless bird. I swear the amount of times I I'm trying to get hit by an enemy so I can do something. Fuck right off. It honestly feels like your worst enemy in this game a lot of the time is, is yourself. Because so many of the attacks they do just seem to miss you if you're standing still. And you're like, oh, I'm going to react to this as if they're going to hit me. And it's like, ah, I was actually anticipating you were trying to dodge that. Little bastards. Anyway, so that's, that's the two-star missions in the Urgent, with a different weapon each time. Um, and, I, and, and look at this, look at this fat fucker, look at him. He's glorious. And if you slap him... That happens. He then deflates over in the corner because he's just a little gassy boy. What an odd deal. Ho -ho. Ho -ho. Good, good job hurting that dickhead. But we've, we've got problems still. Keep an eye on things. Go go see the freestyle quest. You're a good lad. Jesus Christ. She's like, my dango is going crazy. Also, you've got a quest for more dango. That's not a supplier was attacked. Go get my supplies. Yep, yep. He's telling me that his stock is uh he's got more stock in general. He wants iron and macolite ore for a guarding parasol for my dog. Bunny dango or a taste of heaven. Bunny dango or a taste of heaven. So I got 
Tetranodon. Kulu Yaku. He's the cheeky boy. Uh, Baroth. The only person to have so far made me cart in this game. A uh, great Roggy, he's like the baggy but with poison. And a Royal Ludroth, who's just a spongy boy. Um, and as an optional one is Kezu. He's everybody's favourite monster, Kezu. He, um... Monster Hunter Frontier, he's got so a big stretchy like neck. I'd get confused too. He's got a big stretchy neck. And he likes to swallow Hunter's hole and just swallow him like they're nothing. Just like a bit of food he just found on the ground. He's like, oh, mum. Uh, other than that, just, just you know, guys. I'll be here if you need me. So I'm going to stop the episode here. Um, I might split it up into two parts. Uh, two monsters per part. Oh, this guy's giving me a petalance now. Um, different petalances. So I can change the way of it getting those spirit bird things uh, benefit me. Oh, now she's going to talk about the dango. So now when I'm ordering Dango, I've got, I've got all this, um, there's the bulker, so when I use the show off gesture I get, I get better, glutton so my stamina doesn't go down for a bit, reviver to heal people, bird caller to get gather the birds easier, and trainer to speed up buddy growth. Okay, uh, so that is Monster Hunter. Uh, done four monsters. He's like, Soul of a Great Wire Bug. Let me give you some wire bugs. Let me give you a quest for more wire bugs. Take a picture of a rock lizard. Hang in there. Oh, one last thing. Not you, not you. It is I, Fukushigi, the informant at your service. The third dirty secret of Kamura. That meowstrous beast Guildmaster Hojo sits upon is really a baby Tetsukabra, hence its name Testi. Tetsi, even. I don't know what a Tetsukabra is. Its favourite food appears to be Bunny Dango, but every once in a while it snacks on fish for Rama River. Buy my whiskers, wasn't that juicy? Uh, yeah, so next few videos I might go back to doing like Greatsword or something. Um, my my usual mainstay is a Greatsword, Switch Axe, Gun Lance. Um, I'm alright with an Insect Glaive, I think. I uh, yeah, so let me know what you might like, because there's probably going to be other episodes of, say, Resident Evil in the meantime. Um... So I'll have time to read your comments before I record the next episodes. Oh, look at, look at that. Look at that leg elevation. I know one person who goes crazy for that kind of thing in video games. So, uh, yeah. Um, this has been Convoy from Unicast. Uh, showcasing the two-star and technically one three-star monster in Monster Hunter Rise. Uh, so let me know what you think in the comments and what you'd like to see next. Thank you, and peace out.